Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 3.4 Problem Solving Model Multiplication. So our essential question is How can you use a strategy draw a diagram to solve one and two step problems? Okay, so let's unlock the problem. Three groups of students are taking drum lessons. There are 80 students in each group how many students are taking drum lessons okay so first let's read the problem what do i need to find so if i look at the question here i need to find how many students are taking drum lessons so here i should write i need to find how many students are taking drum lessons what information do i need to use so i get this from the question so there are three groups of students are taking drum lessons there are 80 students in each group so there are three groups of students taking drum lessons there are eight students in each group then how will I use the information so here I'll draw a bar model to help me see the total number of students okay so let's solve the problem complete the power model to show the drummers write eight in each box to show the eight students in each of the three groups so guys we have three groups so we draw three boxes so inside each box or inside each group there are eight students so here we have the total number of students is eight and eight and eight so guys since we have equal groups we can use multiplication so we can write what multiply what here we write the number of groups which is three and inside each group there are eight so write three multiply eight so what is three multiply eight it's like you add the eight three times so 8 plus 8 equals 16 plus one more 8 16 plus 8 is 24 so 3 times 8 is 24 so there are 24 students in all okay so let's see what we did again we have three groups of students that are taking drum lessons and there are 80 students in each group and we need to know how many students are taking drum lessons so we need to know the total number of students so we drew three boxes because we have three groups each box we write eight inside it because we have 80 students inside each group if we have equal groups we can use multiplication so we write three this is the number of groups multiply eight this is the number inside each group which is 24 you can do it by adding the eight three times okay let's try another problem 12 students in mrs taylor's class want to start a band seven students each made a drum the rest of the students made two shakers each how many shakers were made okay so let's read the problem carefully here what do i need to find so what we need to find here in the problem guys is how many students made shakers first then i need to find how many shakers those students made in all so first we need to know how many students made shakers because it is not stated in the problem he said that we have 12 students and seven students of them made a drum and the rest the rest students made two shakers each so we need to find what the rest students okay so here what information do i need to use 
Okay. Okay. So what I use is from the question. He said twelve students are starting a band. Seven students made drums, and the rest of the students made two shakers each. Okay. How will I use the information? Okay, I will use bar models too here. First, I will find how many students made shakers. Then, I will use that number to find the total number of shakers. Okay, so let's see how we'll do it. First, record the steps you need to solve the problem. First, we have 12 students in all. From these 12 students, 7 made drums and the rest they made shakers so if they are 12 in total seven of them made drums how to find the rest okay so it's a clear here we will do minus so 12 minus 7 equals 5 so five students made shakers so five students made shakers and in the question he said that the rest that the five students who made shakers of the students made two shakers each so we have five students and each made two shakers so it's like we have five groups or five boxes and inside each group or inside each box two shakers so let's draw it like this so let's draw five boxes one two three four five so these are five boxes or the five students each student made two shakers so we'll write two inside each box okay and the question is what is the total okay so what is the total here okay so the total is easy here guys so if you can skip counting by two so two four six eight ten so the total here is ten okay or as we said using equal groups if we have equal groups we can use multiplication so we can say that how many groups do we have we have five groups multiply each group has two shakers so five multiply two which is ten you add the two five times so it's ten shakers okay so again guys we have the total 12 students seven of them made drums and the rest made shakers so to find the rest we have to subtract the 12 minus the 7 equals 5. So now we know that 5 students made shakers, each made 2 shakers. So we'll draw 5 boxes. We have 5 groups, and each box or each student made 2 shakers. So we'll write 2 inside each box. So to know the total, we can here use multiplication because we have equal groups. If we have equal groups, we can use multiplication okay later you will memorize all of the multiplication table so you don't have to add every time but now we can say that 5 multiply 2 or 5 times 2 it's like 5 groups of 2 so it's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so you add 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 10 so we have in total 10 shakers. Okay, so question number one. How many shakers in all did the students make? They made 10 shakers. Okay, how do you know your answer is reasonable? Okay, here I can skip count. So I can skip counting. by twos so two four six eight ten so one two three four five times ten shakers 
Okay, let's go for share and show. There are six groups of four students who play the trumpet in the marching band. How many students play the trumpet in the band? Okay, so we have six groups of four students. Okay, so first we will draw a bar model to show each group of students. So we'll draw how many boxes? We drew the number of boxes is the same number of groups. So we draw six boxes. We have six groups. And we'll write four in each box. So here we have our six boxes. We'll write four inside each box. Just like this. Okay, if we have equal groups, we can use multiplication. So then multiply to find the total number of trumpet players. So we have six groups. So we'll write six. Multiply four in each group. So six multiply four. So six multiply four, guys. It's like adding the four six times. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. So twenty-four students play the trumpet in the marching band. Okay, question number two. What if there are four groups of seven students who play the saxophone how many students play the saxophone or trumpet okay so here we need the total of students who play saxophone or trumpet so first we have for the saxophone four groups of seven students so we can draw four groups like this one Two, three, four. Each group of se is seven, so we can write seven inside each box. So in total, we have seven plus seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. So we have a total here of twenty-eight. So who plays saxophone are twenty-eight students, and we already solve it. Who play trumpet? They were 24. So we can add now 28 plus 24. So 8 plus 4 is 12. Write down 2, up 1. Now 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. So 52 students. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this session. Have a nice day and goodbye.